Denver Broncos Mile High View, no commercials, no bullshit. All right. I have to do this recording on the uh, Russell Wilson deal. Now, what really, um, I have to say this, is that, you know, as a fan, I would be absolutely ecstatic about this. If we were a uh, team full of uh, Super Bowl caliber players, okay? But I had to start this channel because, you know, as a fan, that doesn't mean I have to put up with a bunch of bullshit, okay? And just cheerlead mindlessly a bunch of mismanagement, which is what we got from John Elway. And, uh, you know, seven years now. And this team still, you know, is has subpar players. Uh, we're paying for people who didn't work out. And it's kind of, I'm wondering if this Russell Wilson deal is going to be the uh, Juwan, the, the creme de la creme Juwan James deal that Elway strapped us with. So I'm going to approach this uh, Russell Wilson deal different than anybody has, um, has approached it. Um, I started this channel because I don't want any, I'm just tired of the bullshit. There's so there's so much bullshit with this organization ever since Pat Bowlen died. John Elway stripped the team down to to nothing, and then told me and every other fan that it was just a quarterback away, even though he stripped it down. And what are we hearing from Dub Valley? Okay, me and my partner, me and my co-host. Uh, when we do these videos, we have been saying over and over, this team is not a quarterback away. We said that the Russell Wilson move was uh, premature. It was putting the cart in front of the horse. So what, what does Dove Valley and Russell Wilson say? They say they agree with us after this contract. Now, it, now it's about face march. Oh, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get players and, and we're gonna and then that's what we want this a destination. What do you mean? A, well, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be set. We got you, Russell Wilson, because you were sold that we're just a quarterback away. We're supposed to be set. Now you're agreeing with us that you're not set. Oh, well, we'll we'll, we'll bring in we'll we'll bring in well Russell Wilson number one. Why didn't you bring in people? Why were you not able to bring people in Seattle? And quite frankly, I think you had more talent in Seattle than you got right now in Denver. Especially your offensive line. This is up and down like a yo-yo. George Payton, following John Elway's uh, uh, his way of getting has-beens, used-to-be's, yesterdays, you know, that's... That's the model we are now. We're well, I've you know, I've said this. We are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The new version of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers of the 70s. Oh, uh, Metalik Watson, why don't you come over here? I know other team will have you, but why, we'll pay you. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure we, we dole out. Uh, um, Jawan James. Why, why why don't you come come here and, and we know you're 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 no good and but but we'll pay you. Nobody else will, but just just come on in. Uh, Ron Leary, Ron Leary, we know you're past your prime. Uh, you, 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 come, 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 you come and sign when nobody else will take it. Uh, who's now uh, Parcel? You know, uh, well, we're gonna cut you, and then we'll we'll bring you back. Well, because nobody else will 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 take you. This is a mismanaged team, and in the way I see it, this is seven years now. Now you got. Russell Wilson on a seven-year deal. It's a five-year extension, but the whole thing, it's seven years. And again, why couldn't you bring people in when you were in Seattle? Why? I don't see anybody going to Green Bay with these big contracts. Nobody's going to Kansas City with these big... Everybody's leaving these places. But now you're going to sell this. This is going to be a destination. You still have... Uh, you, you got... Uh, Justin Simmons on a giant contract of ridiculous absurdity. 
Garrett Bowles, so great. He's great when the refs aren't paying attention. That's that's great. Uh, uh, Shelby Harris is still. You're paying that guy, and, and and then you get your big signing, Gregory. Where every Dallas player, every Dallas fan was like relieved, absolutely relieved that uh, they didn't have to pay the guy and just laughing their ass off. Is that that's that's so you know what I'm I'm thinking is is that what we're going to hear. We're going to be hearing that uh, we're just a player away. Oh, we just we just grabbed this one player over here. We just we just need. We, we, you'll see. We're we're when this whole thing's said and done. Again, the premise is: what happens if this fails? And I'm uh, to me, uh, this is a huge fail if you're just muddling in the middle. You're just like the Bears. Oh, you, well, you had a winning record. We got nine wins. We we made an appearance. You know, a, happy to be their appearance. You do not have a Super Bowl caribou roster. Now you've signed, you, 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 you can dress this. You know, they went into damage control mode. My co-host broke down the contract and said, how the hell? Oh, for, and here's the other thing, too. Well, how the hell are you going to bring anybody in? Because you, you've got this, this albatross contract now. And you have so many players. You have a, a tremendous amount of players you need. Roquan Smith ain't going to come here. You need linebacking help. Is that the kind of moves you're talking about? He ain't coming here. You know, and here's the, here's the, it, it's double jeopardy is really what it is. It may be even triple jeopardy, in my opinion. You get, you, you sold the farm off just to get, get the guy to come here. Uh, now you've tied the Broncos down this front loaded contract, this, you know, so I don't know how you're going to be signing people. The third thing is you can't develop anybody. You, you, your roster is, you, you were a seller dweller, Denver, for a reason in your division. And it wasn't because of a quarterback. You're, you have to keep reminding, you have to understand this. You have to keep reminding Bronco fans, because there's so much bullshit out there, that you, you weren't just a throwaway from an AFC championship. You were the seller dweller in your division for a reason beyond the quarterback. The reason is mismanagement from the very top. I look at this Russell Wilson as the ultimate Juwan James move. I see this not working out. I, I don't, Russell Wilson, he, he, let's just say, even if it's not even his fault, that he can't carry this out, this depleted team on his shoulders. And my question is for Russell Wilson is why couldn't you wait two years test drive this? I, I, I the, no matter what happens, I would think the money would be there and you could go somewhere else if this didn't work out. But now I'm wondering if you know something, Seattle knows something we don't know. You took the money and 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 you're running with it uh, because you're washed up. You can't get it anywhere else. Again, we're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from the 70s. Come here. Nobody will pay you that much. Come here. We'll pay you. We'll... Are you telling me you're washed up? I, I would I would have waited. I think the money would have been there. And see if this organization can actually sustain you. And if I was the Denver Broncos, I wouldn't have just signed them up. But see, the Bronco front office is so... They should have been let go a long time ago. So you have incompetence giving themselves promotion, John Elway. And let, let's make no mistake, this is John Elway riding out in the sunset, this, this whole Russell Wilson experiment. Throw the, you know, just in typical Elway fashion, just throw all this money, throw all this money. What, what are you people going to do? And I'm, I'm just let you know, I'm cutting the comments off of this. Because we have too many people that come here they, because it, the, the fan base has turned into a toxic cesspool. Not everybody. There's a certain group they'll come in death threat because they don't like here in reality. Uh, the second thing is we have people come here and just say a bunch of bullshit that isn't even remotely true. Like, the oh, the contract's really good. It's it's going to help. And it, fuck you. Fuck you. You don't need a voice. You, you're, I'm tired of this. Seven years we're going on now. Now we got this huge contract thing. Everybody around the NFL is saying, what the, what the F, huh? What the F, what, what are they doing? You know, nobody's going to go and save, uh, nobody's going to go and save the Cardinals 
from that contract. Nobody's going to save the Browns from that contract. Nobody's going to come and save Green Bay from that contract. Nobody's going to save Kansas City from that contract. It's just not going to happen. So, anyway, my screen just went kapooey. Uh, so, anyway, I don't see that being an issue here. I don't see, uh, you know, being saved by all these these outsiders, okay? They can't develop anybody here either. And it, it, this, looking at this last draft, they got wrong. They, it, what a joke. What a joke. And then the a guy that's good that could replace, you think Judy's going to save this fucking team, really? And then you got a guy that could have replaced him if he if he 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 just continues to be ghosted by uh, safeties and and DBs. You got rid of a, a possibility there, so I don't believe anything you say, Dove Valley. And what happens if this thing fails, man? People are going to be so fucking pissed off, and they were they right rightfully so. I just don't see the Denver Broncos with Russell Wilson being anything more than muddling in the middle. And what have you accomplished after this whole thing said and done? You, yo, well, yeah, you had winning records, you had nine wins, eliminated from playoffs, like like uh, what's his face out there in Green Bay. Well, what are you accomplishing? You know, you could have been a dynasty if you had proper, if you had proper uh, instead of having PR and bullshit at the front office. If you had proper uh, front office personnel, you'd be like Buffalo. You'd be, you know. You know who you are. You'd have an identity. I still don't think you know what you are. Are you West Coast system? Are you power runs? I mean, it seems like you're watching the, even the preseason. It's a mishmash. That's another thing with this this organization too. So, you know, I'm I'm highly skeptical, and I have every right to be. Seven years of, of bullshit. Seven years of empty promises, and this is what happens. This is the ultimate thing here. You, the problem with the Denver Broncos is this. I should have stated this from the beginning. You have uh, a front office that says, not our fault, it's got to be the quarterback. You have a front office that says, not our fault, it's got to be the coach. Year after year, after, never their fault. Never be there for, for all that, you know, just mismanagement. No, no not our fault. Then, then, then let's go down the players. You got players that can't be held accountable. Oh, it's not our fault. Look, I got sports writers telling me I'm the greatest safety ever. Yet on Hard Knocks just recently, guess what? They show Justin Simmons. Of all the players they could have picked in the National Football League to highlight this, they have the whole team watching highlights, and there's Justin Simmons getting beat by a backup, by the backup's backup. That that passes for if you if you believe the sports writers, that passes for first grade. Safety work, and the whole film, the whole team just erupts. It's just you can't even make it up. So you got players blaming coaches because can't, they can't be held responsible. Yeah, and I, I don't care about these other fans bitching and pissing and moaning about me going off on this. I mean, it's, I have every right. It's been going on for seven years. That's why I started the channel. I'm done with the seven. I got eight channels of turd polishing going on. And man, they're in in in, in uh, damage control mode just with the, the this contract. Oh, oh, it's 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 a win win. We're going to be able to bring all kinds of people in. Bull fucking shit, bullshit. Number one, you didn't get you didn't see Russell Wilson bringing in people in Seattle. I don't have any faith you're going to bring. And even if you do, what I believe it's going to be the '70s all over again with Tampa Bay. Oh, you couldn't make it anywhere else. Well, well, come here. We'll, we'll, we'll help you. I, mean, I can see, again, this this never-ending daisy chain of has-beens, used-to-bees, retreads coming here. Oh, well, you'll see it. You will. Oh, we got that that linebacker that's past his prime. You'll see. That's the, that's all we needed. We just needed that. You know, or, or oh, the receivers did. Well, well we're going to get this has-been receiver. You'll see. It'll work out, you know. I am so skeptical of this. I just think it's it's a, a it's a Juwan James. Um, I just see it as a Juwan James clusterfuck again on steroids. 
well, Russell Wilson's not Juwan James. He's, he's going to play. You're only as good as the army you go to battle with. I see this uh, quarterback, uh, you know, the, the, again, we're in this weird, I don't think most people even understand the game of football. It, 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 and, and the NFL is selling the Disney princess quarterback. I say Disney princess because Disney markets itself around these princesses. And that's just, they, they like, oh, look at that model there. Well, we'll do that with quarterbacks. We're we, Quarterback, the game of football, a quarterback is just another position. Uh, oh, the most important. You, uh, then uh, is, is Russell Wilson going to play the offensive line? Is he going to play the running back? Is he going to play the receivers? Is he going to be on the de- defense? They're all important. They're extremely important. And now we're getting top heavy. I mean, the whole this whole paying these quarterbacks all this money. I mean, are they going to get rid of the salary cap? Then you're creating another can of worms. Um, you know, I, I, uh, this, you do know the game of football. A quarterback doesn't work in a vacuum. Joe Montana would have been a footnote. Brady would have been a footnote. Had he got, they'd been anywhere else. John Elway never would have won the Super Bowl if they didn't get the player personnel around him. So it's not a, uh, it's not a, it's not strictly the quarterback. And again, what are you doing? If you're just, and again, I, I, I the best I see this team is a nine win team. I mean, for the seven years going on. And, and if this thing implodes, what are the excuses? You can't blame the quarterback anymore. It's against the law now. Cause you, you paid Russell Wilson. He's franchise, all this. And you know, he's a Disney princess. You cannot say that, uh, uh, you can't say Elsa and Anna, you know, you can't, you can't blame them. Okay. So what I see coming out of this is I see Hackett being the first casualty from this whole experiment. Oh, well, it's, 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 it's definitely Hackett. It, it's, it's, I, I mark my word right now. He is going to be the first casualty from this because it's got to be his fault. Again, we can't, we can't blame the front office can't blame itself, obviously. The uh, uh, you can't blame the quarterbacks against the law now because you, you know Russell Wilson. It's just you can't touch him, and it's got now the players. It's going to be you know we got we got you know we're going to have to point the finger at some players because we can't blame the quarterback now. So maybe receivers of uh, these other players will be held accountable. Maybe maybe the offensive line will be held accountable. But guess what? You don't know how to develop anybody, Denver Broncos. You don't know how to develop anybody. So good luck with that. Good luck. You defensive line, good luck with that. Funny how for six years, quarterbacks that we play can read War and Peace, but somehow we're the best defense. I, I'm still trying to figure that one out. You listen to the Bronco, the bullshit Bronco fans in this eight fucking platforms in the national. I don't know if they're paid or what not, not. Seven seasons of War and Peace quarterbacks are reading War and Peace back there. Can't make it up. But somehow this, this team's just a... Five Super Bowls minimum. That's what they said when they got Russell Wilson. With side side by side with Russell Wilson, where is he? Like you saw with Pat Bowlen and, and Peyton Manning. I, I that's what. Where is he? That's what I, I'm going to start nicknaming Rob Walton. Where is he, Walton? Where, where is he, Walton? Where is he? Oh, he, he put in a phone conference. Oh yeah, yeah, great. You know, yeah, great. I'm so happy. Yeah. What team is it I own again? Oh, the Broncos. That's right. That's right. Oh, my lieutenant. He'll stand there. I got other things to do. And you just can't make it up. You just can't make it up. So, uh, I, I'm just going to say it. I think the Broncos are screwed. I think they just, they, they when they got Russell Wilson, they dug the grave. Now, paying this big contract, they're just putting the dirt on. And I see this, them not even being able to get out of this 15 years, 15 to 20, just because of the mismanagement and everything else. And, you know, well, the one thing is I, I didn't hear anything about a no trade clause in this contract. So maybe he can be traded, but, you know, maybe Russell Wilson knows something, you know, maybe he knows something, maybe he knows this is it, you know, for him. But I did not hear that there's a trade clause in this contract. So 
I'm not a believer by any stretch of the imagination. I don't get emotional, you know, as far as overly excited. You know, oh, you overreact. Over, yeah, you're overly excited. Okay, I'm. I'm just telling the nuts and bolts the way it is. Organization that can't has no clue with player personnel. I mean, this is probably one of the worst rosters out there, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, overpaying for players is just the norm around here. Getting has-beens used to be just the norm around here. Big contract, giant, you know, I call it jo J Juwan James now on steroids. I don't see it that, you know, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it for, you. and then you add the, the seven years already, that could be near 30 years, <laughs> you know, since Super, from Super Bowl 15 to whenever they get this thing cleaned up. So, you know, I, you, if you think it's all about the quarterback, I think you're going to get, you're going to learn the hard way. And, you know, prove me wrong. I've been saying it for seven years. Prove me wrong. I mean, that's essentially all I have to say. And me and my partner will we'll do a video on this. But I'm cutting the comments. I just don't want the bullshit. There's just so much bullshit with this. You're getting it straight up. I'm not gonna. I'm not holding anything back. You're getting it straight up. It's not being this fan or that fan. I'm just tired of being lied to, bullshitted, uh, played. I'm just done with it. I'm done. Of, and I don't want to hear excuses when if this thing bottoms out. I don't. I'm not. I, I'm done with excuses. Done with excuses. You said we're a, we we have all the players. We're set. We're quarterback way. Now you backtrack. Oh, we'll we'll, we'll get people. We'll, you said we're a quarterback way. You said we're there. Now you're backtracking, both of you. Russell Wilson's backtracking, and uh, Peyton, George Peyton's backtracking. Oh, we'll be, we, with a contract, we can get people. Well, you told us, what, before you got Russell Wilson, you said well, even when you were trying to get all these other quarterbacks who didn't want to come here, that we were just a quarterback away. But I think you know we're not, and you just admitted we're not. So, good luck.